Hi everyone. Um, I've just watched um, Juliana's video that I love vintage scraps, and um, she, I saw that she had uh, bought like an old sleigh from uh, Christmas sleigh from um, I think she said the Goodwill, and I thought, Do you know, that's a fabulous idea. So I've just knocked this up together. Um, it is quite wide. I'll tell you in a minute. Let me have a look. How wide is it? Six inches wide. Um, using just one continuous piece of chipboard that's um, two millimetres thick. Creasing it. Well, you, you do crease it, but bending it. So by the time it's decorated, it's going to be, uh, you're not going to see any of it. It's just a prototype at the moment. And what I've done is um, I cut out the shape of this. I mean, I will perfect this. I'm just, I just wanted to see if it would work. Um, cut two sides in the shape I wanted them. And then, like I say, just tape. I've only taped them. I've only used tape. I mean, it's a prototype, so it's, you know, it's... Uh, let me just fix that. Although it's a prototype, it still needs adjusting. Whoopsie daisy. Let's do that. Put a bit more tape on it. Because I'm just seeing if it'll work. And why not try it? So, what I've done... If you just pull that together. Make sure you, your uh, lines are... They're quite level. I mean, I will do when I do the proper one. This is just a prototype, like I say. Cut two sides out the same. And I hand drew them and then just cut them out. Just glued them on. And underneath, what I've done is I've just glued two uh, rods uh, in between the legs. I mean, they're not perfect and that one is too long, which will have to be adjusted. So I can do that. But I'm just showing you. You cut your two sides out like that. You get your piece of chipboard, and all you do, I've shown you how to do this before. When you're bending thick, I mean, this is two millimetre chipboard, so it's quite thick. All you do is you take your strip, and then you press down like that, because it is quite stiff. It will not bend how you want it to bend, uh, you know, without creasing anyway. But then once you've painted it or decorated it, you're not going to see any of that. And, you know, just uh, be a bit more flexible with it. So just do it like that. And you can see it bends into shape. So then you can attach your sides to it. So that's what you do. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually going to do the sides out of the thick ch chipboard as well to give it a lot of sturdiness. But this is my prototype. Um, and then the seat. Well, of course, you can make the seat out of the same stuff. Um, and really, what I'd need to do um, is to score this properly so i'm just going to get my i'm just showing you how um what can i use what we, let me just use one of these see if this will work you just need to score it like that if i was doing the seat and that would bend more easily but i'm going to be covering it if i uh when i put my seat in i'm just going to it's just to give you an idea of how to do it. So there's my chair. And then that one would have to be cut. Measure what you need for the seat, of course. And this isn't going to fit because it's not cut to measure. I'm just showing you. And then I would glue that seat into there. And if it went up against the side like that, if it was long enough, you can see what, I'm, what I mean. And then you glue all of that in. And then you can cover paint it, do whatever you like, nice cushion on there, you know, a nice handmade cushion on there would look fantastic, um, all the braiding and the trim, you know, lots and lots of nice things, and you could make your own sleigh, and then you could, I mean, I've got these, like I said before, in the picks, but, you know, <laughs> you put your little gifts in, they just slot off like that. Uh, you can make yourself a little bag and put, I would do that. So I'm going to make one of these and I'm going to come back and show you mine. Um, no doubt you lot can do a better job. <laughs> well, you probably can. I just, you know, fiddle, fiddle about with things to give you ideas. I think that's a brilliant idea. And I'm going to come back and do that. So I just thought I'll show you. Not bad sleigh, is it? You could make that small. You don't have to make it six inches wide. But I would want to put a nice velvet bag in there with, uh, you know, things coming out. And if I could get myself a Santa, I'd sit a Santa in there as well. In fact, I've got one I can sit in there with dangly legs. 
So I might just come back and uh, show you how mine looks when I've finished it. For now, thanks a lot. See you soon.